would you say that um, having a pirate, sorry, having a pilot license is uh, crucial for brokering? Does that add in any way? Like, let's just say a pilot wants to get into brokering, you know, does it affect in any way or, you know, like what made you like, you know, get, get a private private license? Yeah, it's a two edged sword, dude. Honestly, um, I found pilots that fail as brokers because they know too much. They love too much of the plane and they focus so much on the plane uh, and they mm. lose sight of the customer. You know, it's like, when oh, you okay. go into uh, it's like when you go to buy a car and the salesperson just tells you how much horsepower, how much torque, how much, you know, how top speed miles per gallon, like that doesn't mean anything to me, you know? I might, you know, mm. if now he'll really resonate with a gearhead. So if the buyer is a gearhead, then yeah, that's the great, you know, salesperson for him. If I go to Best Buy, you know, um, and I guess the, I guess the, the flip side would be uh, sometimes I'll go to Best Buy and I know more about the technology than the sales associates. So you kind of have to find that mm. balance of being able to serve your client. Um, so pilots can be great in brokers if they, as brokers, if they use that knowledge to serve the client, if they just use that knowledge to show how much knowledge they, um, you know, how much knowledge they know, then it's not going to help. I mean, there's that old joke of, you know, how do you know if, uh, how do you know if, if, a, if a guy is a pilot? Mm. He'll tell you. <laughs> like, yeah. it's a, that's all pilots do is we always tell everyone that we're pilots. So um, it can definitely <laughs> be a benefit. I will tell you this. For the first two years of being a broker, uh, being one of the top producers at my agency, I was not a pilot. So you can be successful okay. and not be a pilot. Uh, last couple of years, I've been one of the top top brokers in my agency, and I did have the knowledge of a pilot. And I, those conversations have gone a little bit better. You know, I've been able to br- I've been able to open other doors. You know, by being a pilot because I pepper it in there. You know. Um, uh, of the knowledge that I have as a pilot in my experience, like, like the other day, I got to tell, talk to a guy, you know, he's like, Hey, how's it going? I'm like, great. You know, honestly, I just, I just went IFR today and I, you know, took my plane down uh, right to the minimums, which was like 200 feet and busted out of those clouds right in the runway. And it was an amazing feeling. It's the first time I've ever done it. It's absolutely incredible. Guys like, yeah, man, I, I hear you. Like that's, I, I remember my first time. And so we have that, that bond, now, and I would not have had that experience if I didn't have my pilot's license. So it's not crucial. You don't need it. Um, it can be helpful or it can be harmful, uh, depending on how you use your pilot knowledge. What about having an ANP uh, certificate? Same thing. Same thing. <laughs> okay. I wouldn't say that they're prerequisites to be brokers. Let's just put it that way. Um, okay. The knowledge that I, you know, because you just don't need all that knowledge. You don't need all mm-hmm. the knowledge of how to fly a plane to sell a plane. You don't need the knowledge of how a plane works to sell a plane. Just like you don't need to know how a plane works to fly it. And you don't need to know mm-hmm. how to fly a plane to know how it works. So all of mm-hmm. these spheres of influence of this education, of this experience, like they help, they can be, you know, uh, complimentary, but, but they're not mm-hmm. required. But that's what I like about, you know, the, the Aircraft Brokerage Academy is Alex takes care of the, uh, the, the, the aviation knowledge. He doesn't get into it. It's not like you can take the course and all of a sudden you're an APA or you're a pilot. Like that's not what the course is for. Mm-hmm. The course is to give you enough information to be knowledgeable and helpful for your client. It's about your client. It's not about you. It's about serving your client. So whatever helps you serve the client better, that's why I invest in my sales training. It's why I invest in my marketing materials. It's why I invest in programs and, 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 and networking and all this stuff to serve the client. 